Theo, right now at 11 of the moment, a lottery player unknowingly left his winning ticket behind at a Lakeville cash register. And tonight, two store employees are facing charges for allegedly trying to claim the millions for themselves. WBZ's Ken McLeod explains how this plot was foiled. Carly Nunes was arraigned in Brockton Superior Court today, accused of trying to steal a very big lottery prize. I'm not guilty. This is customer Paul Little back in mid-January buying some barbecue chips and a pair of Mega Millions tickets at a convenience store in Lakeville, where Nunes was working the counter. But she never takes the quick picks off the machine and Little leaves without them. 45 minutes later, Nunes is seen mistakenly handing them to a woman buying her own tickets, but that good Samaritan quickly hands them back. The next morning, prosecutors say Carly Nunez realized that one of the tickets Mr. Little had purchased but never received was a $3 million winner. And prosecutors believe that's when she and a co-worker hatched a scheme to cash the ticket as hers and pocket the money. Two days later, these pictures show Nunez and that co-worker at Lottery Headquarters in Dorchester, where she claims she bought the ticket after her shift that day. But it's torn and burned, and the pair are overheard in the lobby arguing about what his cut is going to be. At Lottery Headquarters, the, the argument that took place in the lobby was really one of the key things that tipped us off. That sent lottery investigators to study this store surveillance video, which clearly shows the rightful owner buying the winning ticket, even though it would take almost a month to identify and track him down, an effort the store owners helped with. At that point is when we really turned things over to law enforcement and, and kind of let them take over from there. Which they did, arresting both Nunez and co-worker Joseph Redham. A no-show in court two weeks ago, Nunez admitted through her attorney today she'd been on a drug binge until officers caught her in Brockton this morning. How do you feel? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. The judge set her bond at 10 grand, and she'll have to wear a GPS bracelet if she makes it. Paul Little, we are told, will finally be able to collect his winnings on Friday. In Lakeville, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.